7 News is your local election headquarters. With a new census comes a new district map. In 2022, you will see some changes to your state representation. If you live in Ohio County and you're outside of downtown Wheeling or Warwood, chances are you're in the new District 4. 7 News reporter Colin Roos spoke with an incumbent and a newcomer running for its delegate seat. There are two candidates with lots of Ohio County name recognition, both running for a seat in West Virginia's House chamber. Incumbent Republican delegate Erica Storch is up for re-election, with her challenger being Democrat Teresa Torresiva, a Wheeling attorney. Their newly created district stretches from the neighborhoods outside Wheeling to the Pennsylvania border. Torresiva made it clear when speaking with us her belief that government is best staying out of our lives. I think that government has essential functions of fixing the roads, maintaining the school's infrastructure, and then getting out of our way. Meanwhile, Storch, a delegate since 2010, points out that her connections in Charleston have enabled her to guide constituents to the correct government offices when they need help. Relationships and connections are really important, I think, in any aspect of your life. But with political and public service, I think there is, it is a key component. She says she's taken many calls about the recent HOPE scholarship ruling with citizens concerned about how it will affect their children's education. I really love connecting people to the information they're looking for. Torresiva points to her record of helping first responders as a trial lawyer and describes herself as pro-police, pro-gun, and pro-choice. She feels that the current Republican control of the State House does not reflect the way voters actually feel about the issues and hopes she can be a voice more toward the center of the aisle. And I find the West Virginia government to be extremist and backwards, and that's also what I'm hearing from the people. It does not represent our culture. It's embarrassing nationally because it's extremist. And the reason it's extremist is because we have a supermajority. However, both are in agreement that government official should not be a full-time job. Government should be more like military service, public duty service, a calling, a higher honor. But we're really ingrained in our communities and we, you know, are serving from those perspectives. So, you know, you have a composite in the legislature of doctors, lawyers, teachers, business people, um, you know, every various farmers, whatever. District 4 voters will make their choice on November 8th. Reporting in Wheeling, I'm Colin Roos, working for you. Thank you, Colin. As for future priorities, Storch says that she would make a, de make a deal with Orphan Roads and Priority if, if re-elected.